אוקיי, נעשה ונעשה, אנחנו נניח בעזרת השם. אוקיי, סורי, נעשה את זה כן. אוקיי, צפוי הכיוון. נעשה ונעשה, אנחנו נניח בעזרת השם. זכות זה השמשון שדברים upon us, על אותו השכה, סדרי שמיה, through the learning. And we'll do פרשת וישלח, פרק ה. אוקיי. מידה שבה. על הפסוק, מידה שבה זה עוד פסוק, וייתן ביד עבדיו עדר עדר לבדו. Here we're talking about that Yaakov Avinu when he met Esav, yeah, after being 20 years in the house of Lavan, 14 years um, working for Sarah, for Rachel and Leah, another six years he stayed there until he had Yosef. Once he had Yosef, he understood that he had to leave and that he left. Uh, and he met, met Esav. Now, so the Pasuk says, that, you know, uh, we see that um, there's a few ways of how to appease Goyim, how to appease uh, Rashaim, how to appease, you know, enemies. One of them is is uh, Matanot, yeah, presents. So what did Yaakov do? He came and he sent him uh, herds of of cattle, of, of all types of sheep, or the many types of, of, uh, of animals, right? As a form of present, you know, appeasing him. But between every herd, every group of animals, so there was a space between them. Why? So now the, the Midrash says, Mau verevach tasimu. Why does Yaakov tell his servants, I want you to come and separate between every group of, of animals who are sending? מהו ברווח תשימו? אמר יעקב, שזה יעקב לפני הקדוש ברוך הוא, ריבונו של עולם, אם יהיו צרות באות על בניי, לא תביא אותם זה אחר זה, אלא הרווח להם מצרות העם, עד כאן ישנו. So says יעקב אבינו, why am I doing this? This is a סימן for future, whatever the Avot did, so it's a סימן for the future for Amisrael. He says, um, I, I, um, I understand that there'll be some tzarot, right? So, Nibonosh Sholam, I'm doing this, this form of, of uh, action, of, of sending groups of animals and separating it, you know, with, with a certain remach, with a certain, um, you know, some, <coughs> some sort of separation between the animals. And that would be like a break, meaning Am Yisrael will, will, um, Am Yisrael will, will have their tzarot, Shem Yishmol, yeah, the pogroms and this and that, and the Spanish Inquisition, and then First World War, Second World War, there, Balagan, right? But they had breaks in the middle, they had breaks in the middle. This is what Yaakov um, asked for. This is what the Midrash says. Tzarech now the Zashim Shon starts asking on the Midrash. Serechiyun. Okay, so what do we see over here that Yaakov asked the Baron Sholam in the future from, from, from my children, please take, don't give them the Tzarot one after the other without any, any breaks. They should have a break between one Tzar and the other. Okay, so they can be able to take it. Sometimes, you know, uh, if you would have all the Tzarot that the person has during one lifetime in, 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 in a week, in a week, I don't think he can take it. I don't think he will be able to take it. It will be just too much for him to bear. So what does Buhu da? He does it. Yeah, but uh, Yaakov in the Davin for that as well. Okay? And, and we'll see why, because there's a machlok at Rishonim, we'll see now. Serech Iyun. Ma inyan tefila zu? What? Why is Yaakov Davin? But you care. ומסר כדעתה היה שיביאם הקדוש ברוך הוא כולם בפעם אחת, עד שיצטרך יעקב להתפלל על זה. אז, why did יעקב think that the Lord was going to bring to Am Yisrael all the time one after the other? That יעקב had to daven in, and, and, and do a certain action so that to, to, yeah, to be able to be מבטל this גזרה, so to speak. 
What did he see? What did he um, uh, feel? Right? So what did he uh, understand? Um, how what did Yaakov understand uh, in terms of um, what did the Ruhu, you know, if, if Yaakov came and davened, right? If Yaakov uh, davened, it means that he himself understood that Hashem would have, would have brought all the tzal one in one, one after the other, right? So yeah, that's why Yaakov is davening because he's feeling something. It's not some. So okay, Benir E. Second paragraph. Ben Yireh Shezeh Talud B'machokit Rashi V'tosafot. I'll give you a small introduction. There's, there's, um, <coughs> there's a machokit Rishonim as to how HaKadosh Baruch Hu behaves with a person. Some people suffer. Some people suffer and HaKadosh Baruch Hu comes and and why does HaKadosh Baruch Hu, why does HaKadosh Baruch Hu do that? Some people don't suffer. Why does Hashem do that? Some people have it good uh, and also good up in Shammai. So we will be talking about that issue as well, right? So there's this, and this is this is connected to what Yaakov Avinu uh, did with all the sheep, you know, all the all the animals that he separated from it one one group and the other. So let's look at the at at both opinions. There's a machok between Rashi and Tosafot. Rashi is the very it's a very tough form of of, uh, of of look and this is what sometimes Hashem does um, to the person I mean we'll see we'll see we'll see now let's let's go through it Benire, let's go to the second second paragraph Benire, rashi betosafot let's go down the Gemara in Barakama Kiddushin sorry he says like this, V'chol ha'ose mitzvah achat yetera az chuyotav metivin lo. So the Gemara says, anybody who has one mitzvah, one more mitzvah az chuyotav, right? He has one more mitzvah and one more schut. You know, the balance, you've got a, you've got a, you've got a scale here, and um, you go one mitzvah, one mitzvah is enough to tip the balance, and what happens? Metivin lo. They do things, they, 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 in Shamayim, they do good things for that person. Okay, so he's got it good. Right, so he knows he has more schuyot, even one more schut. That's enough to give him good. But now the Gemara says, or min he, the Gemara asks on that, kol shizichuyotam merubim me'avonotav mar'in lo, so there's a there's a there's a beraita there's another place in the Gemara that says that kol shezechuytam merubim me'avonotav anybody who has more mitzvot more zchuyot more merits than bad deeds they do wrong to him marein lo. They do wrong, you know. He did. He he has in his account many mitzvot and many zchuyot, and the Gemara says marein lo. This is a midrash. This is what we're asking now. Bedomekimish saraf kol Torah kula. He knows he goes through the very tough time. Like if Chazal Shalom, the Torah would be burned down. Belo shiyem imena afilu ot achatz. He goes through a very rough time. He's got many zchuyot, and 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 he's got sarot, right? And the, the, the gemara keeps on going. And somebody who has many averot, the big rasha, let's call him big rasha, right? Metivilo, they give him very good. They give him a good life, good money, good panasag, everything good. And they, you know, they, they give him as good like. Like if he completely, he, he, he did all the mitzvot of the Torah. He, 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 he complied with all the mitzvot of the Torah, not even one letter was left of the, of the mitzvot. Okay, this is what the, 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 the Gemara brings down as a question to what we, saw, what we said at the beginning. We said at the beginning 
that somebody who has who does one mitzvah more than um, one more mitzvah than all the avilot that he has, okay, he, you know, he has one, one, one more one more drop, so to speak, and that's enough to tip the balance. Metivinlo. So the Gemara says the beginning, and then the Gemara says, wait, but you have a Mishnah that says quite the contrary, very much the contrary. They even have many mitzvot, many schuyot, they do bad things to him, in Shamayim. Bad things, I mean, they, they, he suffers. Okay, so that's the question. Amar Abaye, Abaye answers Matnitin, the Mishnah that we brought at the beginning, the Avdin le Yom Tav Yom Bish. When we say that they do good to the person, somebody has one one more mitzvah, and because of that, the the balance was tipped to the good side. So it says Abaye. So that person gets good. What does that mean? Gets good. One day he goes through a rough time. Another day, wow, it's so much fun. He really had a good time. Another day he had a really tough time. And then two days later he has a good time again. And he goes back and forth, good and bad, good and bad. This is what this is Abaye trying to answer the, 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 the Mishnah. This is what this is what it means, Metivindo. Now, this is what the Gemara says, and now we're going to go through the Rishonim, Rashi and the Safot. Both of them are going to explain now um, certain ways of how um, uh, acts yeah, and, 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 uh, and, uh, and uh, brings to, to the person either good or bad. Yeah? We're now in the third paragraph. Upinesh Rashi, Yom Tav Yom Bish. So he says over here, what does it mean a good day and a bad day? So Rashi explains. So, so says Rashi, that somebody who has one mitzvah more than his, than the other avirot, in other words, tip the balance for the good, what does that mean? They give to that person a good day, a good Yom Tov in this world. He has a good in this world. They pay him all the Averot in this world. Now in Shimashmin and when the person has one more one more mitzvah, he has a good day and a bad day. Sometimes he has good days, sometimes he has bad. What does that mean? Let's go again. Upidash Rashi, Yom Tav Yom Bish, Mish Ose Mitzvah Achat. Somebody who does one mitzvah, Yeterad, one more mitzvah. Yeah, they have a rubas chuyot. At that point, he has majority merits. Yeah, majority chuyot. What do they do? They give him in this world, in this world, Yom Tov, good things. What does it mean a good day? A good day means that they're giving you uh, all, all the good things in this world, so that in the next world you get it bad. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. No, sorry. It has a, a double thing to it. Okay, sorry, let's go back again. What does it mean? Yom Tov Shinifrei Mimeno Avonotav. 
They give him a good day. What does it mean a good day? A good day means to have a tough day. In Shamayim, a good day means when the person suffers. Oh. It's a hard one. The person has said, oh, this and that. That is good. That's, that's preparing for Olam Abba. This is what Rashi says. Sometimes you have a good day, sometimes you have a bad day. But you should know that the bad day is the real good day. And the good day, you have to you have, to have the fun and this and that. You should know, according to Rashi, okay? We're going to see now. According to Rashi, the good day is really they're paying you back. They're paying in this world. In the next world, you've got an issue. Okay? So Rashi, for formal for understanding, is more extreme. More extreme, meaning um, a good day, okay? A good day, according to, to Rashi, in Shamayim, the, when they judge a person. So a good day means that he, it's a tough day for him. And this keep on going. We're now on the second column. Somebody has a lot of Averot, more than Zchuyot. What do, what do they do now? They do, it says in the Mishnah, the what? That they do something wrong to him, you know, they make him suffer because he has more averot. Hainu de Avdin le Azmanat Yom Bish, Shemashlin Son Sechami Sotam, Kan li Hiyom Metukan li Yom Rala on Amaba. They, because he has so much good, so much, he did so many averot, they pay him in this world so that it'll be bad in Olam Amaba. Okay? So, our, 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 normally, our, according to Rashi, yeah? The way we see things is, you know, you you get you get more schuyot. So you would say, yeah, you have more merits. You would say that that person would come and and uh, and you know uh, he has he should have more a better life, right? So according to Rashi, such a person, not everybody, okay, not everybody. We we'll have to see now, but that person will. It will um, most of his life we'll see many times. We see many times big big tzaddikim who've got, who went through shemesh mor, tremendous suffering, tremendous um, you know uh, being poor and, and financial issues and this issues and that issues. Non-stop, non-stop. <coughs> that is according to Rashi a good day. Who is paying them back in this world? Damano and you up in Shemaim le'nesam nesachim le'olam va'ed you clean. Let's, let's, let's do the second paragraph now. Vatosafot sees it differently. He asked on Rashi's explanation. So the Tosafot asked a question on Rashi, but he explains. He himself says, what does it mean a good day and a bad day? A good day and a bad day in this world. According to Rashi, no, a good day is a bad day. For Lama, yes, a good day, sorry, a, a bad day in this world, according to Rashi, a bad day in this world is a good day in Ulam Abba. Tosafot learns that everything in the, is in this world, right? A good day and a bad day, we're talking about in this world, not in Olam Abba. But she's talking about Olam Abba. Sometimes, when the person's merit is greater than, than his Averot, uh, sometimes they, they do a, 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 tough, a tough day on him. Yom Bish is a, a, a uh, hard, hard day. They they give him they give him a tough time, even if he has more schuyot. <coughs> Why? <coughs> For him, that, that day is like the worst day he had. The same thing. Somebody who has many averot. Merubim lefamim osim lo yom tov. Sometimes they give him a good day. 
even though he has more averot, ובאותו יום דומה כאילו קיים כל התורה כולה. אבל רוב ימה של צדיק שרוי בטובה עד כאן לשנות. Sometimes you have, uh, this is a Tosafot says like this, you have a person who has most of, of his, uh, of, of, of his chuyot, he has more, much more chuyot, right? So for example, he's got 80% chuyot, 90% chuyot, and 10% which is not so good, okay? Now we don't. So at that point, that 10% will be paid in this world somewhere along the line. He will go through a rough time uh, and who decides when and how, whatever it is. But in general, but in general, he will have a good life. But he will get paid in this world. This is what Tosafot says. Yom Tov, Yom Bish means, Yom Tov means in general, you will have a good day, a good year, I mean, a good life. And sometimes you'll, you'll have uh, your, you know, We'll call it Pekele, but, you know, Sarot here, Sarot there. This is what the Safot explains. Okay, Nimsa. We see from here. Lepirusha Shizal, Shean Chote, Kishyesh Lo, Liresh HaOlam Abba, Mare'in Lo, Ba'olam Azeh. We see from here the words that, according to Rashi, that somebody who does an Avera, a small Avera we're talking about, yeah, he, most of it is good, so what do they do? They pay him in this world, as we all know, yeah. They do, they make him suffer in this world. In order for the person to get olam haba in future. That is the, that is the, the, the idea of Rashi. The person has to get geinam. He gets a lovely time here in this world. Everything goes well, everything goes good. And Hashem Ishmol in Olam Abba. The Fi Da'at al Safot, Afa Khoteshi Yesh Lo, Lidesh Gan Aide, Metivin Lo, Abba Olam Aze, El Hashemar in Lo, Gan Ken Bezi Yamim. In other words, according to the Safot, and this is what the normal, I think that this is the normal thing, normal people, even if you do have the schut, of getting Olam Abba, you can have days which are tough. Okay, you'll have, I don't know if it's sometimes days, sometimes it's months, whatever it is. Yeah, let's make it hours, <laughs> a few hours, right? But the person will go through, has to go through a few uh, tikkunim. Yeah, a few tikkunim in order to, but then, yeah, then he, but in general, he will have his, his, go, his good life and also have Olam Abba. Okay, because yeah, we can't forget what's written in the Torah. Uh, the person who is mechabed, somebody who honors the parents, so he gets long life. Somebody who does maaserot, he, he gets, he becomes rich. So he's getting good things, and also in this world, right? He's got. He says that she has had. He has. He has. He has healthy. In general, he's healthy. So there's many segulot, many things, many mitzvot, many schuyot, and, and the reward that we get in this world as well. So. According to Tosafot, do we do get it fits much better for for the general public? Okay, sometimes according to Rashi, I would understand Rashi is more on the much more tzaddik, much more tzaddik. As we who, kevechol, this is how um, who behaves sometimes with the tzaddikim, like Rashi. Biyakov, we know the fourth paragraph. Now, okay, now that we see that this idea of the Gemara and Rashi and the Safot, the two ideas of how the person goes through in this world, if it's only bad in this world, and then in Olam Abba you get everything good like Rashi, or you get like the Safot, sometimes you get a, a, back, a whack here, whack there, but in general you got good. That, that's the Safot, okay? Now, Yaakov, he knew that the Ruhu behaves in that form, like, like whom, like, or, or like Rashi, or like Tosafot, the same, you know, the, the ideas. Obviously, and Rashi and Tosafot came out later. But Yaakov understood this Hanhaga, this um, way of, of um, dealing with Am Israel. Yaakov knew that this is, in Shamayim, this is how they deal with him, with the person. So Yaakov, you know, he paled, he came and davened, 
אם יהיו הצעדות באות על בני, על בניי, ראיתי, סרק זבוכו, סורי, זה יעקב, שאול שם, אף אף דלבי צרות הוא שהוא עם ישראל, לא תביא אותם זו אחר זו, don't bring them one after the other, כלומר ליתן לעולם הזה תמיד רעה כפי דעת השם, don't behave, don't behave with עם ישראל like רשי, like, like the, the way רשי explains the Gemara, this is the form that also who behaves, right, with, with עם ישראל sometimes, don't behave, says יעקב אבינו, Please, Rabbi Shalom, don't behave in that form of giving them tzarot uh, one after the other in this world. Ho'il sheyesh lahem zchut alam haba ki kol Yisrael yesh lahem chelik alam haba ela yeh ke pilush al tzafot harvach lahem metzarotam ten lahem yantom yom bish. Behave, says Yaakov Avinu, Rabbi Shalom, behave with my children like the idea of the tzafot, which means They should have a good life in general, and sometimes you'll have a good day and, and you'll have good days. Yeah, and sometimes you have bad days. I think we, we all we all normally have those those uh, yeah that type of life. Yeah, this is what Yaakov um, Avinu uh, davens to Adonai as he was giving he was sending these um, herds. over to Esav. ועדיין, we're now in the last paragraph, the page. ועדיין צריך את המר יעקב להתפלל כך דווקא בשעת הזאת ובזמן הזה. Why did that, what's the connection? Why did יעקב אבינו come and daven for עם ישראל, they should have צרות, and the Bono Shalom do it in a way that they'll be able to accept it. And, you know, every so often, a bit here, a bit there, give them a bit, and not all the time, be, be more menachem, right? And give them a good life, but sometimes they'll have the, 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 the tough, tough times. Why did, why did Yaakov Dafka Davan at this point, <coughs> when he's given this, these presents to Yaakov, to Esav? Yesh Omar, we're now on the second page. ויש לומר, דאמיע במידה שבה על פסוק, פסוק, ויפלוץ האיש מאוד מאוד. You see that יעקב אבינו, he did a, a, a good patent and he became very very rich in the house of לבן. Okay, he said, well, it's a whole story, I'm sure you know, about the, the sheep and how to get more, the, the colored sheep and this and that. Uh, And he became very, very rich. So, says the Gemara, the Midrash says that it was so good for him. For Yaakov, it was so good that it was like Olam Abba. He came so rich and everything was going fantastic for him. Imagine, Men olam haba in this world. We're talking about Gashmiot, because he says over here that he became very rich. Ve'amar Yaakov, Yaakov said, Mitechila, kishayiti shagubuchu noten li tova b'shefa gadol. Yeah, Yaakov is thinking, yeah? Wow, so, so, it's an incredible shefa, kishubuchu is giving me such good, such good life. Ha'iti savu, shema b'shvil shani tzadi gamur. Why is Hashem giving me all of this? Maybe it's because I'm, I'm Sadiq Gamur, I'm a big Sadiq. Tamiyam b'Belachot, Sadiq v'tov lo, zehu Sadiq Gamur. The Gemara b'Belachot says that if you're a Sadiq and everything is good, that means you're a Sadiq Gamur. So, so Yaakov Avinu thought to himself, now the Hashem is giving me all this goodness, can you say I'm behaving well? I'm a big Sadiq, I'm big, yeah, not in Gaava, Chani Shalom. But he's, he's saying, maybe is is it, Is this the reason why I'm getting all this richness? Omnam, however, second paragraph. Omnam, Ata shani ro'e sheba'a li yaday tzara zu shel e'sav. At this point, we see that Yaakov Avinu, for the last, yeah, the last uh, few years before he left the house of Lavan, everything was 
incredible. But then once he met Esav, right, everything was incredible, like on Amaba. But then he met Esav. At that point, what happened? He, he met Esav, ve'ani matzrich, ani mutzrach, le'abed u'lechasel mamoni. I have to now start losing money, and you know this this costs money. All the hundreds and thousands, of, I don't know how many um, uh, sheep and and, and 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 cows and animals and, and, and yeah, all, all the all the all the herds that was were given to to a sow. To the bilateral, as you know, as groups. Um, but still, it was. If this is happening to me now, that means I'm. I'm uh, I, everything was everything was very good, but now all of a sudden I'm having a tzar. I'm going to pain. Yeah, I'm going to, going through a rough time now, meaning I have to stop uh, losing money for because of a tzar. Shemamina, because of this, I understand. It's not. It's not stam. It's not stam. If somebody loses money, if somebody uh, has a tough time. It's a forget because there's a cheshbon going on somewhere along the line. We don't like it, but that's the truth. This is how it works. Yaakov Avinu was truthful enough to see. Look, you, you might say, um, you know, um, you know, he's a billionaire, right? Those times, he's a billionaire already, mamash, incredible. And you would probably say, well, okay, yes, I can't. How much is it? A few pennies for him. It's a few pennies. So you would probably brush it off and say, oh, okay, nothing happened. Everything's okay. Just you know. Uh, bribe him and give him a few matanot, a few presents, and just keep him quiet. But there's a deep understanding to this, and that is that that Yaakov understood that until now everything was good, everything was perfect, very good, and all of a sudden he's losing money, even if it's a little bit for him, right? He's a multimillionaire. A few, a few, a few animals is not going to make it, it, you know change the change the, the balance in the. In the, in, in, the, in the account too much. So it must be because of chetz. must be something wrong which I did. Or, Bishvil, Mitzvot Kibada Vayem, you know, was, he didn't do the... Maybe the chetz, what chetz is it? Maybe because I did not honor my parents all the time because I was outside for 20 years, correct? So maybe that's the reason why. Or because I made a nether, made a promise that whatever I will, uh, whatever I will gain, I will give it ma'asel, right? From, from uh, Yaakov, you know, he started giving ma'asel lot. And that ma'asel, he, he delayed. Maybe because of that, says Yaakov. We see it in the Midash as well, that this is what Yaakov I mean, thought. Maybe that's a reason why Esav is I'm bumping to Esav, and he's now extracting money from me. Yeah, it's a form of present, but uh, you're, you're losing. Yeah, Yaakov I mean, understood that Akash was behaving with him, with Yaakov, like Tosafot understood. This is the, the, the format, which is what? Most of the time you have a good time. Sometimes you have your, your little story. You have a little suffering here and there. Yaakov had it in that form as well. This is, he understood it wasn't like Rashi. Why? Because I had sometimes I have good and sometimes I have bad. According to Rashi, if you have Moses Chuliot, and, and you have a few Averot, you'll be having all the time suffering. So you cleanse everything. This is how Rashi explains the Gemara. So Safot um, is more of a, you know, easy, easy going, yeah, easier going type of, uh, of life. And this is what he saw in, in him, that, that the Guru was behaving with him in that form. Like the Safot, meaning sometimes you have a good day, sometimes you have a bad day. But in general, you have most of your life as a good days. Sometimes you're 
sometimes you do behave with me like Rashi, meaning you 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 give me suffering in this world in order to cleanse for the next world. Okay, so so we see that that, that Yaakov even understood that he who behaved with him in a form of most of the time good and sometimes bad. And don't ask. It's, it's, it's favoritism. It looks like there's favoritism going on. It says the Pasuk says that the Guru is, you know, very truthful in his judgments. So we we ask, maybe it looks like like um, uh, that Zbuchu Kivichol is taking preference and then being being nicer to to um, to the person who has more mitzvot. But I'm just going back again. But Somebody who has many avelot, he's got many avelot, but at the same time he's got a lot of mitzvot. But he has more mitzvot than avelot. Right? So he's got like 60-40. He's got a lot of avelot, 40%, but he's got more zchuyot. You, you do behave with him like Rashi, which means he will get paid in this world. He'll get, he'll get very tough, tough times here in this world. Somebody who has a mash 90% of 95% of his tzchuyot. Uh, he has got 90%. And lo few avirot on him. Da'inu mi'outa di mi'outa, mamash little. אז אתה נוהג עמו כבירו של התוספות. כמו שעשית עמי, you behaved, this is what Yaakov says, Moshulam, you behaved with me in that form, that even though I have, yeah, לכולד, Yaakov understood, you know, who he was. So he says, I've got many mitzvot, many zchuyot, some avirot I might have, so that's why you behave to us, to me, like, like, like the safot. ומעתה אני מתפלל שתמיד בכל עץ, so comes Yaakov Avinu and davens to Hashem that Am Yisrael should be always, who should always take care of Am Yisrael, the same lifestyle that Yaakov Avinu had, which was most of it was good, sometimes he had a tough time. Even though he has many Avedot. Yeah, that's a chidush. Not, not only like Yaakov. Yaakov didn't have many avilot. Maybe one here, one there. That's all. But even, says Yaakov, even if Amisai do have a lot of avilot, but they have more schuyot, still behave with them in a nice way. And they should have a good lifetime. She'af al pi, she'gam, pilu shashi emet, mikom akom zchut tefila zu to'il likroa ha'gezar din v'lahafoch ha'din v'lachamim l'chalot Amisai. So says, even though Kuzuhu Nachon, that, that the, um, the way that she explains the Gemara is emet. In other words, somebody who has Averot, you should get paid in this world, clean, and then clear everything good in this world, and then it'll be clear in the next world. Nevertheless, nevertheless, this tefillah, which Yaakov is doing now, should, should help to tear up the decree the, uh, the, uh, not behave, the Bronshom don't behave with Am Israel like Rashi in a tough, in a tough way. Behave with Am Israel with mercy. Lichlalot Am Israel. This is only for, this is in general for Am Israel. In other words, this tefillah that um, Yaakov Avinu Davant was for Am Israel in general, not individual. Not in the individual case, but in general. Okay, in, in, in general, Gubuchu should behave in Amisrael in a, in a, uh, always in Rachamim, always in, in a form of Rachamim. Omnam, however, 
Al Ayachid, now what happens in Ayachid? We have the on the communal side, and then we've got on, on the individual side, you know, on the on the Yachid. On Nam Al Ayachid, Lo Itpalel Yaakov. Yaakov didn't daven for the individual. Didn't daven for the individual. Why not? Ruzal, the Chanoti et Asher Achon, Afal Pi Sheno Hagun, Velichamti et Asher Alachem. Afal Pi Sheno Kavah Kedai. Afkan, Yesh La Akshot, Shen Yed Yesh Maso Panim Badaval, Fidar Keno Nicha. So the, the Gemara says like this, Bechanoti et Asher Achon. Somebody who, who, who has Rechamim, who would have Rechamim on him. Afal Pi Sheno Hagun, even though he himself uh, is not fitting for the Rachamim, for mercy from Hashem. And the same, yeah, who will not have any mercy on the person, even though he's not fitting at all. What? I don't understand. The person is not behaving properly and the Ruchu is still behaving nicely. That's, that's, uh, that's uh, not... Uh, that is uh, not 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 behaving, not judging the person properly. Yes, taking sides. But according to what we explained now, it's okay. Why? Shemi sheyesh lo halbe averot. Somebody has many averot. Aval zchuyot merubim kan iskalel. She adin hu leitnahig imok ibra shashi. Mizdarez atzmo betzvila v'tachana az v'chanuti afar bishenu hagu. In other words, so that it says when the person has. Many avidot. This is yeah. This is uh, this is very clear. This is the way the person should understand. This is how Hashem behaves in, with him. This is very crucial. This is very fundamental. When the person has a lot of avidot, we're talking about the, at, at, at an individual level, not communion. Communion we already spoke about now before. Now we're talking about the individual. The person has many avidot, but he has more schuyot, more merit than avidot. So then, if he davens, if he davens, if he doesn't have rachamim over me, Hashem will hear him. And Agudbuchu will behave with him in a very nice way. But he has to daven. Even though he's not kedai, even though he's not fitting for that rachamim. But because he davens, and he's also rachem and others as well, He's, yeah, he has his mercy on others as well, even though he himself has no, uh, is, is not fitting for that rachamim, but because he davened, he, he, he's okay. Let's read it again. Lemi, okay. Shemi sheyesh lo halbe averot. Somebody who has many averot. Aval zchuyot am rubim. But he nevertheless, he has more zchuyot. Shadin ho leidnaeg imo kepirash hashi. The real normally, if such a person has that in his in his uh, file that he has many avirot. Yeah, let's, let's talk about the percentage: forty percent avirot, sixty percent good, because he has many avirot. So really, who should behave with him in a tough way, even in this world? If the person will come and daven, who should have mercy always on him? As the Chanoti Afal Pishenu Agun, then Hashem will come and and have mercy over him, even though he is not fitting. Or Mishumachi Amad the Chanoti Lashon veEtchanan. What is veEtchanan? By Chanoti, veEtchanan is davening, right? You know, if you daven, who will answer? Even though you're not kedai. So look how powerful this is when the person davens. That who should have rachamim over him, and the best way to do that. Is to daven for others. When you daven for others, so then who has rechamim over you as well, even though you are not fitting at all for good. But Hashem will give you for, Hashem will good will give you good because of this davening. Somebody who has little averot. What happens? The person has has ninety percent schuyot and ten percent averot. Little. Shehem miuta de miuta. So very small, maybe 95% good and 5% bad, for example. 
אפילו בלא תפילה אין, אני מנחם עליו ונוהג עמו כפרש על צפות. He doesn't even have to dabble, I will have רחמים over him nevertheless. אוקיי? Okay? ובזה מתורץ הכפר של רחמתי ורחמתי. אוקיי? Okay. To explain how the Gemara expresses himself uh, at uh, the top of, the, of this paragraph. So we see from here that in terms of, of in the, at an individual level, if the person is, has, an, uh, in Shammayim they see the person, he, he, that person has to suffer, but if he davens, that the Bukhush should have Rachamim over him, and the best way to do that is to daven for others as well. So then he, he changes his din. That's very powerful. Be'yuvan, okay, Be'yuvan, let's carry on a bit more. Be'yuvan name, ma'i d'aniya b'sof masechet b'lachot, amal avin ha'levi, ma'i d'ekhtiv y'ancha Hashem b'yod tzala, there's a the famous tehillim, what does it mean, y'ancha Hashem b'yom tzala, y'ancha Hashem elokei Yaakov, elokei Yaakov, elokei Avram v'yishak. Why does he say in the pasuk, in, in, in the tehillim, he says, y'ancha, yes, but very, yeah, pasuk. Tehillim that we always say, Yancha Hashem Biyom Tzara, Yibron Shonam, answer us at the time of the day that we we need your help. We've got their affliction. Yisancha Hashem Elokei Yaakov, and turn turn to the Elokei Yaakov. Elokei Yaakov says says the the Bida the Gemara says Elokei Yaakov Elokei Velo Elokei Avraham Velokei Yitzchak. Why? Why does he have to turn? You, why does the the um, the Tehillim, right? David Melech, he mentioned Elokei Yaakov, and he didn't mention Elokei Abraham or Yitzchak. He doesn't say. Why not? Mikan lebal akoresh yikanes beovia shel kora. From here we understand that we have to um, uh, analyze properly what, what has been said here. What Rashi explains or what? Why do we say Shem Elokei Yaakov? Because Yaakov, he went through a rough time and he doubled a lot as opposed to, to Abraham and Yitzchak, even though he, yeah, we don't know how much. But with Yaakov, we, ha- we do know um, the, his life much more in detail than with than with uh, than with um, Abraham or Yitzchak. Amtu lehachi yesagucha shemeloke Yaakov shu nikla bal hakore ta'alav talu lezakot et Yisrael. So it's through Yaakov that we bring our merit. Yeah, our merit comes from Yaakov, and the the way even though he had a, a tough time. Even though he had a tough time, nevertheless, um, he, because of the davening, that changed. This is why we, in the Tehidim, we mentioned Shem Elokei Yaakov. So Yaakov, as we said before, davened, that Am Yisrael should, his, their lives, yeah, on a community level, should, should be like this, the idea of the Safa, the what? That even though the Tzarot come to the person, they shouldn't come all in one go, like Rashi. They should come little by little. Omishumachi, <laughs> In other words, the, from the Pasuk, right, it says, even in the Pasuk itself, the way it's expressed, it's done in a Ede Ede Levado. In other words, um, the, the, it's, it's, it, look, it says, Yancha, so just a second, let me see. Yeah. So it says that um, it comes to Yancha Hashem Biyom Sara Yesagilcha Hashem Elokei Yaakov. So it says over here um, 
that even in the way it expressed, the way it's expressed in the in the Tehillim, there is a separation between one sound and the other. In order to bring a certain um, uh, separation between one sound and the other, as we daven, af yesagilcha shi'ale legdula. So yesagilcha means uh, a, a form of, a, it's, an, it's an expression of of gedula, of greatness. Omnam Abraham b'Yitzchak lo b'ikshu alzeh. Ela adra b'Abraham b'irel et ha-malchuyot ve'et ha-galuyot. Quite the contrary, we see that Abraham, what did Abraham do? He came and he chose, yeah, we all know that um, Am Yisrael had to go through or Gehinam or through Galut. And Abraham Avinu, he chose Malchuyot ve'et ha-galuyot. Abraham Avinu chose which countries and where will, will Am Yisrael go, right? Which Galut? And what Galut? Be'itzchak tava Yisurim. And Yitzchak Avinu, he governed that Am Yisrael should have Yisurim if they have a Virot, so that they should do Teshuvah. Can you hear me, Amida Shabbat, Pasuk, Vahik, Kizakem, Yitzchak, Velo Yitpaleli, Ten Revach, Be'emsa Yisurim, Ve'hatzavot. We see that Yitzchak didn't govern that they should have um, breaks between one sound and the other. Yitzchak said it should have Yisurim, doesn't say little by little. But Yaakov Avinu, he did. Yaakov Avinu, he davened in a form that they understood that Amisai were going to go through Galuyot, etc., little by little. But in general, in general, Amisai should have a good, a good life. The old Amiyah B'midash, and now the last Pasuk, old Amiyah B'midash, ala Pasuk, v'haya kashet tarid, amal Yossi ben Chalafta, im raita achicha, Porek ol eshel Torah me'alav, gozem alav shemadim. Ve'ata sholet, ha'da'o dikhtiv, ki ata avinu v'yitzchak heichan ho, mi shehu omel gezor alav, shemadim, ata matkifo le'avot. I'm not sure exactly what that midash means. That's another explanation, okay? But we do see the... Um, the idea of this of this uh, Shon basically explaining how Hashem deals with Am Yisrael at a communal level. And this is what Yaakov Avinu davened um, to Hashem, and this is how he behaved himself. And this is how the life that he had, and he, this is the life that he wanted Am Yisrael to have as well. Sometimes you have t- tough times. Most of the times are good. Sometimes you have tough times. You know, but if you daven on a, on a this is on a on a what do you call this a communal level as I'm saying in general, but if the person davens individual at an individual level, the person davens, so then who will have rachamim over him and bezat uh, Hashem only good b'shatu amusachat. Okay, bezat Hashem. Hope you understood this. Uh, it's deeper than the yeah, end, normal or whatever, but uh, I think it's, uh, it's also good to do things which. Uh, which we haven't done before. So, Bishat Wa Mustafa to all, and Zad Hashem, we should uh, only have good Zad Hashem. Amen. Thank you. Zad Hashem to all. Shalom Shalom. Shalom Shalom. Bye bye.